Yeah, I remember distinctly writing that because that was that was a riff that I came up with at rehearsal one day, and I was like, I really felt like I had stumbled on on something very cool. This was during the vocalist audition process that lasted like 10 months so everybody was pretty fried by the end of the day and I'd come up with this thing and nobody wanted to work on it and when we were when I you know first was like introducing that to the band I was like this is great yeah like, yeah 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 so I had to come back and and you know as is the case that's one of the things with Velvet Revolver you got to deal with trying to force material through you know um, so that was one of the songs that I had to force through and and uh when Scott came into the band, he identified with it right, right away, and then all of a sudden it came together. Had it not been for that, I probably would have, it probably would have been shelved and might have shown up on my solo record. The, the, the Velvet Revolver process there was just never a real synergy, and so so a lot of stuff. There was a lot of roller coaster rides of of, of of dynamics as far as like the actual musical approach. It got to be very frustrating, and a lot of really good material ended up on the editing room floor, so to speak. And so so I finally got to that point after the last record that we did, which is actually a cool record, but it just didn't. Uh, with combination of working with Brendan O'Brien and Scott, and it just ended up not sounding as heavy or as aggressive as what I would have probably wanted it to sound like.